All right, we ran into a little mishap on that last property. Uh, I was gonna go tour that property for you guys and uh, go through it, figure out uh, what we needed to get the property up to par to make it into rentable condition and uh, go through the numbers with you guys, make an offer. However, I had some squatters in there, I believe. Hello? Hello? Can't tell if somebody's sleeping over there or what. But I was super pumped up to go through there and, and make a video, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and change my plans today. I'm actually gonna bring you guys to another mobile home that I picked up and uh, actually flipped. And I really did minimal work to the property, made a huge gain on it, and I'll run through the numbers with you. Um, but I'm gonna bring you guys there and kind of show you from the outside. But um, I did one, one thing that really was, didn't account for any kind of labor or materials necessarily. Or but we're coming into it. They just built that house on the corner, but it's gonna be this yellow one right here. So what I liked about this property, if you look, down here is dead end and it's all single family homes down there, all golf access properties and everything around there. This is the colony over on this side super expensive uh, high-rise condos and coach homes over there but as you can see this ye little yellow one right there that's the uh, property that I used to own and uh, the one thing that I did do it is I added a small little center console sea fox it was a uh, just under 18 foot and um, I think I paid like five grand for the boat threw it back there and I included that in the sale Anyway, I think some people are coming out. So what we're gonna do is jump back in the truck and talk more about the transaction. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through um, kind of uh, basically what I did to this property to uh, profit fairly quickly. So I sold this property about 10 months later. I actually lived there for a bit, um, had had some good times. Again, it's on the water, golf access, so we spend a, we spent some time uh, having some fun here. So anyway, as you can see, behind the property is a 55 plus mobile home community. They, uh, at the time, just passed, um, actually just before I bought, they passed a, a bylaw that you could actually build single family homes in that community. So that was uh, a, another deciding factor for me to buy this property. Um, and on the uh, south side, of, or the north side of this property, again, it was all high-rise communities, uh, a lot of uh, luxury homes. So everything in the general area was uh, of higher end besides the, the um, mobile home park behind it. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the, uh, the photos here. <clears throat> so that is the boat right there that I picked up. And uh, again, it was a center console Sea Fox at the end of this. So I'm gonna actually show you guys the breakdown of the, uh, the numbers from acquisition to renovation costs and so forth. But really the only renovations that I did to the property inside was um, we pulled up some old carpet, put some linoleum down, uh, painted the interior of the property. The bigger expense was literally adding this boat um, as well as a lean-to lift. So I actually had to put a, a lean-to lift. Uh, electric was out there already, so we were able to, um, you know, have, have the lift all set up and, and ready to go. Here's a close-up on the boat here. Uh, it's a cool property, but here's the lean-to lift. So again, I knew, um, you know, the, the added value here was to be able to kind of present the lifestyle for the next buyer. And the next buyer, I was hoping that that would purchase this property would 
uh, be inclined to, um, you know, fishing and boating and so forth. So that was the ultimate goal with this property was to take advantage of the water and the Gulf access. And that's exactly what we did here. There's the, uh, the outside of the property here. I didn't do anything much with the outside. As you can see right here, this is the location of the property. So you shoot down this canal and pretty quickly you're in the Estero Bay. Uh, as previously mentioned, and then the Gulf of Mexico, you're going to go over one of the or below one of these large bridges over here. There's the interior of it. Again, we didn't do much besides paint and some light fixtures, real simple stuff. So once we had the lift in place and cleaned up the property, I went ahead and put this property up on the market. Uh, within a few months and went into contract and we closed shortly after uh, I was actually purchased by uh, two sisters They wanted to have this as a, a Florida vacation property and they fell in love with the boat We actually uh, once we were in contract We took them out on the boat showed them how everything worked and showed them uh, the easy access out to the bay as well as uh, to the Gulf of Mexico so they, they were in love with the property they still own the property and I think they're very satisfied with the property as well but I saw its potential I saw that the previous owner really wasn't taking advantage of the actual uh, lifestyle of the water all right let's go ahead and review the numbers so the initial acquisition was hundred and ten thousand my total renovation cost now this is including the boat again I saw the property with the boat uh, the renovation, that was the paint, some light fixtures, uh, just getting the property cleaned up was a thousand bucks. The lift, the lean-to lift, uh, I bought a refurbished lift from a, a guy that I know. Uh, they came out and installed as well for two thousand bucks, and the boat was five grand. So the all-in on that was one hundred nineteen thousand for my all-in. Uh, there's a little bit of closing costs on the front end, but it was pretty minor because I did pay cash for the property. Now the sales price uh, that they purchased it was 152,000 minus my all-in cost of 119,000. Closing costs on the back end is about 7,500, and uh, net before taxes that I walked with about nine months later was uh, just over 25,000. So um, I did realize uh, a gain on that and was taxed on it. But you know, at the end of the day, it was no big deal. I just went on to the next property. And um, anyway, that's the, the cost associated with it. So um, when you guys are looking for properties to flip, whether it's a mobile home, single family, uh, multifamily, whatever the case is, you, you got to look for the uh, value add what can you add value to that property to increase value almost immediately and in a, si a situation like this just by adding a used boat a little c fox center console boat that was in pretty good shape i was able to kind of uh create this um this this lifestyle for the next buyer uh which is you know the water golf access lifestyle that uh that they thoroughly are enjoying now so if you guys like this video i appreciate you guys subscribing like it and um, go ahead and check out some of these next videos I got coming up too. See you.